Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Great Handyman's Home Remodeling Videos. This is part three of Daisy's Bathroom Floor. You can see right here I've gone ahead and I've filled in these special cut tiles, and I've got a few filled in right along this edge because I want to get this backer board up against this tub all the way around and get up here and start tiling this area. We used quarter inch hardy backer board for the floor because that's all you really need to get a strong support. However, on these walls, I'm going to switch to half inch hardy backer board. It's a lot stronger, rigid, totally waterproof, and it's going to make a wonderful surface to climb with tile. Okay, we got the sides all up. Starting to look a lot better already with just backer board. But we still have to do backer board on the top area and get it all consistent and smooth. We've taken the faucet completely apart, so the piece of backer board that's coming in right here, I can drill three holes in it for the faucet and then set that down on top and nail it. So we're going to do that next. Now that the sides are on here, I'm going to go ahead and start tiling and get some, at least the bottom row on here, so tomorrow I can start stacking up even higher. And uh, we're using the smaller version of the same thing that's on the floor, 6 by 6s and of course, the yeah, darker accent tiles. I think I'm interested in starting with a dark tile, so if someone enters this dark bathroom, at least this dark tile might catch their eye and they'll be able to see where the corner of the tub starts. Right here along the side of this tile, it's been stamped with the UPC code. You want to make sure that you don't leave that sticking out somewhere where an edge might be showing. If you're going to have an edge show, make sure you turn the tile to a blank one. And I think since the entrance is this way into the bathroom, I'm going to want this tile to stick out just a little bit. Yeah, so the crack is here, not here. I think that's going to look a lot better. So let's get these two on. Let me just mark them real quick where they're going to go. Alright, I've got mortar on the wall and mortar on my tile. And I'm going to do these at the same time. little adjustment needed and I'll use a piece of cardboard from the box of tile. Makes it really convenient. There we go. I think that'll turn out just fine. Cornerstone of the tub. Now I can take off in either direction, and uh, when I get either direction finished, come back and do the other one. So we're going to proceed with that. So I just noticed that I put that small six inch tile right above the same color on the floor and I just don't like the way it looks. It looks like uh, something happened right there and it got smaller. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this tile with a cream colored one like this and uh, probably another cream one right here again and then I'm going to put the colored tile over here so it's above a cream colored tile. So I want all the darker tiles <clears throat> like you see here, like you see there or there to be a complete tile, a whole square and not next to another dark tile. So just because I've placed a tile doesn't mean I can't get it off. It'll come off real easy. And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. And you tell me if you think it looks better. Okay, so you see what I mean? How the cream colored tiles just look better against the darker. And I moved that one dark square all the way to the corner. Yes, it's going to give a dark corner on each side. But I think that's still looking just fine. So I've been studying and measuring and measuring and studying and looking at this side panel and trying to figure out just exactly how it is I want to tile it. I mean, after all, it is up to me on exactly how this thing gets tiled. There's no set plans or pattern or anything. The only thing we had going, really, was the subway pattern that we did here on the, on the floor. But I don't think I want to use 6x6s six six to cover the entire side. I want to be using 6x6s six six up there on the wall later on. But down here I think I want to do something different. So I took some 16x16 16 16 tile, did some careful measuring and found out that if I cut this piece right here to exactly seven and three eighths uh, that it would fit perfectly right through the middle section right through here and then that I could use a six by six on top and one on the bottom and I made both corners dark brown dark brown to give it like a cornerstone look on a building plus I want the eye to catch the corner of this tub I don't want anyone to run into it so we've cut several of those tiles seven and three eighths wide and we're going to continue on both sides and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Yeah, I think that's going to turn out real nice. I'm very pleased with how that's looking. Now we'll continue and we'll do the other side. Well, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. After this dries tomorrow, We'll take all these spacers off and then we'll take our belt sander. We'll come across the top of this because just a little tiny bit of this backer board is sticking up higher than the tile. So I'll take my belt sander and we'll sand this off smooth, giving it a perfect finish and a perfect height. Then we'll go ahead and we'll tile the top of this. But that's our next episode, part four of Daisy's Bathroom Floor and Top. We'll see you real soon.